Hello everyone, this is Man Faces, and today we're setting up a Brahmin farm at Finch Farms. Okay, so this is where Finch Farms is, if you guys don't know where it is in relation to Sanctuary. It's just your average run-of-the-mill settlement. It's really hard to get because you have to go to Saska Iron Works and retrieve the shish kebab and save Jake's stupid butt. If you can, if you can't, then, you know, whatever, because, you know, I rolled the dice on that one if you was watching the diary. But anyways, the first step is that we need some razor grain. Um, razor grain is actually really hard to find in the wild. There's only like two places that I know you can get it. One is at Finch Farms and one is at University Point. If you're watching the diaries, we were trying to get out there one time. Did not work. So what I decided to do is come on back to Finch Farms, set their razor grains up and get them going. Now, I believe it takes four razor grains to grow a... Uh, each crop so I'm sorry to get each cage there we go okay so we're set up so you guys saw I had 16 but I'm gonna go ahead and plant all of those fill this farm out and then we're gonna get started on setting our cages so I'll see you guys in a bit all right so we've gotten our first planting of razor grain so basically what I got set up over here is I have half of the little farm area cut off just for the razor grain. You don't need it, I don't think, but I am planning on free range animals this time. I'm actually going to try to free range all of the animals, uh, but it's going to take some extra perks to get it to take care of. But, you know, we got to have the freshest meat in the Commonwealth, you know, Face Corp won't take any less than that. Alright, so now that we've collected our first planting, you know, we're going to do basically what everybody already knows. We're going to go ahead and start setting up our cages. And watch Brotherhood of Wheels explode. Good guys. If only we could give them just a little bit of common sense. Just a little bit. Alright, so here we go. Brahmin cage. It wants to float. Uh, I don't blame it for wanting to float, but I don't want it to float. Mm. But floating might not be too bad. I'm sure I can do something with it. So, so we got one there. One there. Now, I want to point out that um, I could be using automated defenses to kill. Uh, the animals the problem with it is that we need one more three cages might be okay but I think we need one more um, that doesn't matter I'm going to have to clean those cages up I already don't like it but we'll figure it out Okay, so now that I have my cages, I'm going to get my power set up, run to the cages, and then get my switch ready. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to encase the farm uh, in fences. And then I'm just going to start catching Brahmin and then releasing them just to see what happens. I kind of want to see how many Brahmin I could get inside of this little pit. And also, I want to know how many Brahmin can go to a feed trough. That way we can kind of keep them... Uh, contained and fed and healthy so I'll see you guys when we catch our first Brahmin okay so we've gotten our first Brahmin uh, I'm not gonna let him out just yet I want to go ahead and show everybody our fence setup uh, I guess it'll keep them in I don't know they glitch through stuff but if I get if I keep the feed troughs in here it should work so a couple of things um, First, I just want to bring everybody's attention to the cost of the feed troughs. Eight ceramic. Which doesn't seem like much, but if you haven't been blitzing coffee cups, man, you got some issues. Just like me. So, I can only get one feed trough over here, which is pretty bad. But what I wanted to do is put it in the middle of the settlement because I believe that a Brahmin can go to this side and to this side. If you stack them up against the walls... You got about a 99% chance they're going to glitch through that wall. <laughs> if you guys have seen them in your houses, you'll understand. Okay, so let's open up our cages. And check our first free-range Brahmin. 
First, I want to see if he can actually get the cage. And he can. Magically, even. Hey there, guy. What's up? Alright, cool, man. So, let me reset the cage. Get the power back on. And then we'll wait. So, this is pretty much the setup. Um, I'm gonna go on ahead and wait till I got the whole pin full, and then I'm gonna go on ahead and show you guys how they interact with each other. But in the meantime, I gotta go get some ceramics. Alright, and we did it. So, I went on ahead and just kept the four cages. I believe we have about 11 Brahmins so far, but I just wanted everyone to see how they interact with each other when they're just kind of clumped up like that. I thought I was going to need like tons of food trays in order to keep them, uh, you know, docile like this inside of the pen, but it turns out that they'll just wait their turns for the feeding trough. I've even had the gate like opened a few times and they don't even you know, like try to come out like they're literally content. When I first opened the cages and let them outside, what ended up happening is that they started like glitching and jittering and what I think they were doing is that they were scanning their environment to find out you know if they were inside of a pen and I think that maybe these fences have something to do with it because of the Brahmin at Abernathy farm uh, it kind of stays cooped up in there as well well anyways hope you guys enjoyed the little short tutorial video about making a free-range Brahmin farm uh, we're going to use our Brahmin meat to start a super mutant hound farm closer to the glowing sea. That way we can cut the rads and get some juicy meat at the same time. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more fun. This is Man Faces signing out. Take care.